In this short tutorial, I want to walk you through the different ways you can use pagination inside your Scraping Recipe Builder. So to get started, create a new Scraping Recipe and load your page. So in this case, I've got the uh, blog of um, Hexamatic. And um, what you can do is, if you scroll down, you'll see we have our uh, pagination here. So to get started, click on uh, the next uh, page. Click Paginate Automatic. Choose the number of pages. Click Proceed. Now, in this case, it says it, can't, it couldn't be detected automatically. Now, when this happens, I recommend reloading the page. Sometimes the HTML code prevents us from finding it automatically. Um, so what you can do is you can select the area around the pagination, like this. Click Paginate Automatic. And this time, it detected it. Now, sometimes uh, Hexamatic will not be able to detect it, in which case we have a third option, which is using our manual selector. So what you want to do is you copy the... Um, you find the pagination and you copy the link to the URL to the next page. Then you go back here, you click this, click Paginate Advanced. Here, copy-paste the URL that, uh, of the pagination. And in this case, we are going to use this variable, ampersand page ampersand, and we're going to replace the number with this. Then, we're going to choose how many pages and from which page to, to which page we want to scrape. So here you want page 1 to page 2. Click Proceed. And there we go. It's found the pagination. And so when this scraping recipe will be running, it will go through the first page and then the second page. Now, there is a fourth option available as well, uh, which is to use the website's sitemap for your scraping recipe. So most websites have a uh, sitemap. So this is, for example, the sitemap of our, uh, of our blog. Um, and if I go into post sitemap, you'll see we have a listing of all our, our blog posts. Now, you can find this for e-commerce websites, so you can find the uh, sitemap of, for example, all the product listings. So if you save this sitemap, you can then, in Hexamatic, uh, create a workflow. And as a source, you can use the sitemap extractor on that sitemap. Then you can use the scraping recipe that you had built and, for example, use the, the URL found in the sitemap. So what this will do is it will go through each URL from the sitemap and the scraping recipe will get all the details from the details page. So here, are, this was four ways of uh, paginating or alternatively using the sitemap of a website. Uh, to capture uh, detailed page URLs. Hope that was useful. Let us know in the comments uh, if you have any questions and uh, if you have any ideas for further tutorials. Have a great day ahead.